Hi there, this is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we're going to discuss how to graph a parabola with given coordinates. So here we have three points. 1, 6, which is right here. 0, 5, which is right here. And 2, 11, which is up here. The question is, can we construct and graph a parabola with only this information? And the answer is yes. It's helpful to recall that any parabola can be written in the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c are unknown constants at this point. Well, if we plug in 0, comma 5, right off the bat we can see 5 equals 0 plus 0 plus c. So therefore, c must be equal to 5. Excellent. So let's do the same for these two points and see what information that tells us. When we plug in 1 comma 6, we get that 6 is equal to a times 1 plus b times 1 plus 5, which we can rewrite we combine like terms, we get 1 equals a plus b. Well, this is not enough information to uniquely determine these coefficients. We could have a is 1 and b is 0, or a is 7 and b is negative 6. So we need more information. And we'll get that by plugging in our remaining point, 2, 11. So that tells us that 11 is equal to a times 2 squared, so we get 4a, plus b times 2, 2b, plus 5. And again, we'll simplify this by subtracting 5 from both sides. And what we get is 6 equals 4a plus 2b. We can simplify this a little bit further by dividing by 2 on both sides of the equation. 3 equals 2a plus b. Now with these two equations, we have a system of equations of two unknowns, which we can use to uniquely determine those unknowns. So what we're going to do is take this equation and subtract it from this one. Minus 1 equals a plus b. And what does that give us? 3 minus 1 is 2. 2a two minus a is a. And b minus b is 0. So right off the bat, we see that 2 is equal to a. Now, we can take this piece of information and simply plug it into any one of these equations to get b. So if we plug it in here, see 1 is equal to 2 plus b. Therefore, b must be negative 1. Box that as well. But now we have all the information we need to find the equation of our parabola. So we know that a is 2, and we know that b is negative 1. So from here, we have y equals 2x squared minus x plus 5. So from here, we can simply take a few more x values, plug them into this equation that we've just derived, and then see what y values we get so we can complete our graph. Let's do x equals negative 1. Negative 1 squared is 1, so we get 2. Minus negative 1 is 3, plus 5 is 8. Okay. So, now let's do negative 2. Negative 2 squared is 4, times 2 is 8, minus negative 2 is 10, plus 5 is 15, which will be way above our graph up here. So, 
Lastly, why don't we find the vertex of our parabola, which is given by negative b over 2a, two quantities that we know. We'll go ahead and write it down here. The x-coordinate of our vertex is given by negative b over 2a, where b is negative 1, that becomes 1, and our a is 2, so the denominator becomes 4. So the x-coordinate of our vertex is at 1 fourth. And if we plug that back in to here, we'll see what the y-coordinate is. 2 times 1 fourth squared minus 1 fourth plus 5. 1 fourth squared is 1 16th times 2 is 1 8th. We'll rewrite 1 fourth as 2 eighths to get a common denominator. And then 5 becomes 40 eighths. And then we can simply combine all these like terms. 1 plus 40 is 41, minus 2 is equal to 39 eighths, which is not a very pretty number, but it's going to sit right about here. We can go ahead and connect all of our points with the smooth curve. And there we have our parabola. My name is Ryan Malloy. We've just discussed how to graph a parabola with given coordinates.